Hi, this is Mayor from Bearable Traders. I'm going to share my recap. Today is September 9th, Monday, September 9th. Um, so coming into today, the gap list was pretty pretty quiet. There wasn't much going on. There was ACAD, which I, I'll get to it soon. I really regretted not trading it because um, it really did make some great moves. But Brian mentioned, I was watching a few different stocks. Brian was men mentioned BA that was going down in the pre-market, so so I put it on my watch list as I just looking over my stats. I see that I actually traded BA in the past very well. I was successful in it, so I had uh, I had a bias that I wanted to trade it. So here it was selling off in the pre-market. It was down, I think, for the day overall. Yes, it was down, and the market was up. So that was interesting because I saw it was trading independent of the independent of the of the spy. So it opened up, it dropped here below VWAP, then it came up and it dropped again below VWAP. And here, as it was breaking, I think this is a pre-market low. Um, as it cracked that, I decided I wanted to get low at 356.78 or 50. I don't remember exactly what the fill was, but it really wasn't breaking down and squeezed up against me here at the pre-market low, so I just got out. Um, and I really didn't like the price action. I didn't like the price movement. So... But then I was looking around, I didn't find anything, I decided, you know what, let me take another shaft, let me take another stab, it looks weak, it's under VWAP, it can't break up against VWAP, let me see here, 357, let me let me take another stab with a tight stop. So I took it here, 356, and really, as you see, it really didn't do anything, and as it went above VWAP, it cracked above VWAP, 356.65. I stopped out again. So overall, I don't think I don't know. I'm not too proud about this. The trades were fine. I I managed to risk okay. Um, I don't think I should have been trading this. I don't know if there was any news. I don't think there was any news on BA specifically. Um, it didn't have it didn't have the volume wasn't too high. So basically, my lesson is it wasn't a play. It's not a play. I don't know what the news was. It was just something. So I just um. Just maybe shouldn't have traded it. I had a hundred thousand, nothing, nothing crazy. Didn't have, didn't have great volume. Didn't have great catalyst. So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have traded, or at least for the second time, I should have been more patient to trade this. So that was BA. Um, I took one other trade. It was, it was, um, it was a break-even trade. Netflix. I was watching. Netflix has been very weak. So I was actually short bias, but somehow in the pre-market, I couldn't find out what the news was. Very next is very beaten down since since the last earnings here, where it gapped from three sixty to. To like three three thirty, so I was really short buys. But there was some kind of news right before the open. I couldn't figure out what it was. <clears throat> I looked Benzinga. There was nothing going on. Here I had this humongous pop. So here, right at the open, so I was watching this as well. <clears throat> right at the open, it popped up, and I was actually took this based on a one minute chart. It popped up, then it started going down. Um. Yeah, so here, as it came under view app, it looked weak. It looked like it's going to give back, and I have a short buy, as I said, a short buy is this overall anyways. So here at 295, 295.66, I got filled. I entered, then I covered a little bit of my position, a quarter of my position when it came to the whole dollar. And then I, I got stopped out again here as it came back to my break-even. So this was a real break-even trade. So two losers on BA, break-even on Netflix, and after Friday I had a tough day, so I really didn't want to trade anymore after that. It was enough trades, it was very early still, but I know I was looking around, I didn't see any good really A1 setup, so I just decided let me... Stop at that. Roku was unfortunate because I was looking at this drop here to buy it. To buy, I was looking to buy the dip and I hesitated and started running without me. That was un unfortunate. ACAD, I had a wrong impression on ACAD. ACAD had a crazy gap up. I had like 75% gap up or some kind of trial. And I was looking at it. To, this is what I was seeing on, in the pre-market. It was very, very choppy. But really, it was so choppy because relative to the to this humongous move of I don't know what fifty dollars, one hundred fifty to one hundred percent or something. So these were really small candles, but technically, it really did have great range. And it popped up here at the one minute. I mean, if, at the one minute, it's more obvious. It popped up beautifully. I mean, this is a three dollar. Doesn't look much, but it's a forty one, forty two to forty four. Andrew traded it. It was like three dollar, three dollar move, and then it sold off and made gorgeous moves. So I missed out on that one as well. So another tough day, but I want to share the recap anyways. 
Um, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Thank you very much for watching, and comments are appreciated. Have a great day.